Welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. Uh, I want to address a question that comes up frequently. When watching my videos, let's use three second manifesting technique, I will sometimes get people responding like today, and the question is, Landria, how do I do this when I have real life? Everything's real life. That is what's going to change real life. That's not real life. It's what you're creating. So we're constantly separating the two. Here's my little manifestation trick, and then here's real life. I'm trying to express to you that there is no separation in anything. In anything. What you do to somebody else, you're doing to yourself. You're creating, you're manifesting. So if you're thinking and doing something negative, you're creating and manifesting something negative within your own energy space. And thus, if you continue that, it will show up in the real world, the material world. So if you're looking at like, oh, oh there's all this stuff going on, but you know, then I need to focus on the good stuff. That is what you're, you're doing that three second manifesting over here in the real world. That's why it's not going well for you. Because this person was referring to things not being so great. That's it. And then there's another question. Well, so if I keep, man, if I keep focused on it, focused on it, is that, is that me then sending the message that I doubt it and it won't come into my life? There's no separation. I don't know. Do you doubt it? There you go. It's not a trick. It's not something separate. You're doing it. So if you're doing it over here thinking it's a trick, forget it. Don't bother. Not going to show up. Why? Because you think it's a trick. You don't think that you're really doing everything and that your thought is manifesting in every second. You think that something, whatever's going on over here in your life, is somehow disconnected from that. And I'm trying to show you that that and this are absolutely a product of one another. Those thoughts create. Those negative things going on here are a result of this thought. So that's why I have you catch anything negative going on here and switch over to what's that reality that I want to create in my life that is not separate from me. I don't have to attract it. Attract it. I'm not making fun. Everything's one thing. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just trying to get a point across as to that there is nothing separate from you that has to be attracted or created. Everything exists right now. You're just either resonating on that frequency or you aren't. So you're not attracting something. You're just shifting into that frequency of where that thing you desire lies. So if you think this is real life over here and you're living it, you're totally unaware that you're actually creating all of that. That stuff that you're living is what you're creating. And that three second manifesting is going on constantly over here. Arguing, conflict. Oh, you know, I've met somebody, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, a very politically minded person, but feels that they have to impose their opinion on other people's. And that is conflict within themselves. It's not going to feel good, right? You're opposing. You're not respecting the other person's opinion or ability to manifest their own reality. That's the ego saying, I believe this and so should you. And they'll sit and argue. And herein is the conflict of human beings that create the real world that's so unpleasant. And when you realize there's no separation of anything... I'm not saying this to be a smart aleck, but you know those guys that every once in a while I get one down one. I know who it is. One down thing. They're doing it to themselves, not me. It doesn't bother me. Go to another channel. That's my answer. I'm moving forward. If you let the outside world affect you, oh my gosh, you'll, you'll be in constant chaos. You have to go on what you know is right and continue and move forward. 
other people do not dictate your life, what you think, what you feel, what you believe. We're one energy, but you have individual expression. So know that when they're doing that crap, they're doing it to themselves. That negative energy is not going out here. It's part of one individual expression of which that is their energy expression of the collective consciousness. So if we all raise that individual energy, we would raise the collective consciousness. It does affect us, of course, but you still get to react whatever way you want. So that real life out there is you. It's you doing everything. It's how you think and feel about everybody. It's how you're battling things if you think things are problems. I'm going to do one right after this about what your mission is. So my question to you is, what is real life for you? How's that going? Don't, don't want some of those things in there? Change it. Not... Okay, I'll go over here and I'll picture it. Three second manifesting. My whole point of getting you over here is that the three seconds become all the time. The three seconds is me getting you to switch off of a negative thought and within three seconds, you're up to the positive thought. You eventually stop thinking the negative thought, but if you're still going over here calling this the real world, you're not taking this thought seriously. You think it's a trick. You're not believing it. You're not doing it. You're not living it. You have to live it. But, but, but the outside world's this way. It's this way because you created it. And as soon as you stop living and believing it and acting the same way that you always have in it, it will shift. You dug your hole into certain things so you've got to learn from it and get out. Say, I'm not going to stay here anymore. I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be the negative thinker or the victim or the blamer or the person that has to argue or the huge walking ego that has to be right. See the beauty in everybody. See, you know, have compassion. That's a tough thing to do. People can be irritating as heck. They can be jerks. But don't you hope that somebody will have compassion for you and send you good thoughts when maybe you're not the nicest person walking the planet? Can we do that for one another? Everything you do, you're doing to yourself. Everything. Giving is receiving. There's no delay in that. It's happening immediately. The only time you see a delay is when something takes a while to materialize in this world because it's dense. And thank God. Because we'd be manifesting all kinds of horrible things. We would have blown up by now. But I'm of the belief that we are inherently perfect, beautiful, loving beings that have just forgotten that. We've gotten in such a deep, dark hole that we've lost touch and therefore continue to manifest those negative experiences that we no longer need. We are transitioning into a world where none of that is needed. Get it. Get the lesson. Get out. Do not separate life from over here. It's not a trick. You either believe it, live it, and to, get, and to do that, you have to get out of that negative thinking. And that's what that exercise is, to get you out of that negative thinking. To become the new person. Not to just do some little thing and then go over here and you know continue to act like a broke person, a blamer, victim, needing other people. I need you to help me. I need you to mentor me. I need you to call me. You need to, to train me on... Nope, I don't need to do anything. You hold the power. When are you going to start to believe that? Everything will come to you. All that you need will come to you as soon as you take control of that and recognize it. It's Start to move forward into expansion and all will appear. All your messages, your signs, the right people, you don't have to do it. You still get to reject it. If you want to stay in the deep dark place, you can do that. It's free will. You are one whole thing. You are not separate from the thought. You're not separate from the manifesting ritual that you do. You are not separate from the regular life you go into that's not in alliance with, alignment with the positive thoughts that you're trying to manifest. They're canceling them out. Why? 
because your focus is more over here on the negative stuff. And quantum physics will bring to you exactly what your focus is. What are you focusing on? Hmm? Hmm? Ruh roll. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.